God spoke a limit. He said, this is the amount that you can earn per year. And once you hit that point, you shall take no more money into your household. I said, all right. I said, that gross or net? <laughs> Most of us have no idea what or where God has even called us even to do or even how much to make. Do you know in the Bible, the Bible limits the kings. It says you should not have too many wives. You should not have too much gold. You should not have too much silver. All that stuff, the king just ignored all that stuff because they, they, they forgot. They forgot what God had called them to do. And one of the things, even with your calling, it will help to galvanize you if you even have a realistic idea. See, and they, these people were sitting in a class with a man with a lot of money, and, and then he went and asked them the question. He said, now, in a, on a scale of one to 10, how far are you on reaching that goal on a scale of one to 10? So when he got to the first man wanted $10 trillion, he said, how far are you on a scale of one to 10 to reaching that goal? And that's exactly what he said, zero. Then he got to the next one who wanted two trillion. How far are you on the scale from one to 10 of reaching that goal? Zero, and then zero, and then zero. And then zero, because all of them had a concept and a desire and an idea and had called themselves something that God never intended. So you've got to know, first of all, where does God even want you to be? What? And see, anytime a couple of things can happen, when you don't understand where God wants you to be, first of all, you will strive for something that you will most likely never get, and if you did get it, you'd be extremely unhappy with it because God never called you to that. And the second thing is you may miss what he has called you because you're going in the wrong direction. So it's important, just, just even if you can get that and just ask God this one thing, and, and if you can't get a clear answer from God, figure it out for yourself. Just figure out, Lord, what is enough? What is enough? Do you know if you never asked you the question of what is a, that, that's why, that's why the first, you know, the first command that God gave the kings, he said, don't have too many wives. Ladies, say amen. amen. Yeah, see, do you, do you know that if there's no limit and a man just got a oodle amount, of, do you know it ain't no limit how many women a man can, you, you understand what I'm talking about? It just ain't no limit to this stuff. And Solomon was the wisest man who ever lived. And God told him, don't get any foreign wives, and it was in that law, don't get too many wives. If you don't know calling and what God has called you for, you get all off track with stuff. And just even with your money, if you can just get that figure, and God may speak to you, you're supposed to make $30,000 a year, and that's it. And sometimes, you see, when you, when you hit that limit, and God has told, and James adopted the same limit that I have, and God revealed to James in a dream, he said, you're gonna have a time at that limit. Because when you get to the limit, the limit gonna look small because you can make a whole lot more. But whenever God gives you an amount, that's all you'll need. And he knows that too much Excess is liable to damage you. Yes. It's like food. He knows you need enough, but too much, and the stuff becomes deadly. Just if you can just ask God in your callings. And, and, and some, see people, the, the problem, and this, is, this goes into even how do we know the word of God. Oftentimes when people seek the voice of God, it's, like, it's the same thing that happens when they seek counsel from me or any other pastors, anybody else. They, they really don't want the counsel. What they want is a confirmation and what they want is somebody to agree with them. So when you, do you know the people in the Bible, they had to tell God, stop speaking to them directly. Send us a king, send us a prophet. Don't tell us directly because this stuff too rough. So some of you, when you're asking, them, I really wish I could hear the voice of God. No, you don't, because God will tell you some stuff you don't want to do. There's some stuff God has told me I absolutely didn't want to do. Still don't want to do. I'm still having to struggle with stuff now. So 
But, but when you do what God tells you, there is a blessing in that. So, so if you really, really want to know your calling, just, just see, you start with what's called the gross and move to the fine. Money is gross. Money is something everybody can understand. You don't have to be real spiritual, all deep. No, you, don't even have to email, you don't even have to read. Do you, do, you, do you know you can go to people and they can't speak a word of English, but they can count money? Do you know that they can't speak a word of English? You know, high Espanol, no, no, no English, no English, but they can count that money just as clear and can't speak a word of English. So money is what's called a gross form of communication and understanding. No matter how stupid you are, no matter how uneducated, if you're illiterate, all that kind, you understand money. So money is a very common denominator, gross form. So you start with the gross and then move from there to the fine and to the ethereal and to the high, the spiritual stuff. But Jesus says this, look, if you're not faithful with unrighteous mammon, how can I trust you? With the, you know, so you're not, so you start there. You start with something you can understand. And just, just maybe ask God, Lord, tell me, how much money should I really make? And be prepared to receive the answer. And God may tell you, he, he may tell everybody differently. He may say, for some, for this season of your life, for the next 10 years, this is it. Or he may do like he did me and give me just a hard, firm limit for the rest of my days. But that's enough. And if you can learn to just seek God or else you're going to be like those five folk on the stage. And no matter what God grants you, you'll never have enough. You'll never be satisfied because you don't even know what enough is. Solomon had, if, you know, if he'd had 699 wives, he wasn't satisfied. And he got 700, and then 300 concubines. That's a lot of women. That's a lot of women. And do you know he still, and, and Solomon, he just had it. Oh, that, that man had it. None of these rock stars compared. Solomon had, he had it. He had some stuff. And he got through all of this and got to the end with all of his wisdom and said, all this stuff is vanity. And then, then he got, and this, this is the deep part. I've never heard anybody preach on this. He said, out of a thousand men, I have only found one upright. And out of a thousand women, I have found none. It's in there. Read it. It's in there. The man had a thousand women. And he said, I ain't had a good one out of the whole thousand. So sometimes what you need to, when, when, you, when, you, when you're calling, see, if, if you can understand your calling, and God has told you, I have called you to be a married person, then what you need, if I can, I want to do better than Solomon. Solomon ain't had any good women. I want one. And see, and this is something that, that if you can understand it and understand its truth. See, most men, if you gave them the option one good woman. Now understand, see, the thousand women Solomon, they weren't no ugly women. You, you do know that. So if you gave the average man, I'm going to give you the choice of one good, you know, good country, good country, good solid woman. You know, just a good woman. I'm going to give you the choice of one good, just good country, good solid woman. Oh, I'm going to give you a thousand of these model, you know, the, flowing hair and the body all like that and just bam and bam 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 you know you know so 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 you got the average man i'm gonna give you this woman gonna love you this woman will stick with you if you got nothing or if you're on top of the world i'm gonna give you one good this woman don't care what you look like this woman don't care what you got this woman just loves your very soul and she loves the very ground you walk on this gonna be a good this is just a good old-fashioned country good woman oh bam bam see see now now, now the problem is See, the average man, because he does not understand what God has called him to do, he gets excited, thrown off, deceived, all of his stuff misconceived, because he does not understand 
what God has called him to be and what he has called him to do. So sometimes people, if you can just get quiet and sometimes you'll have to move into that no talk with him. Get a shut up so you can hear. And you just get quiet and just ask God, Lord, just in the grosser things of life, just, just in my money. Father, just, just, just in these others, just, just tell me, Lord, what do you want me to do? And what do you want me to have? And when you can listen to that and hear that, and most importantly, obey that. And if he tells you one, it means one. See, if my figure is one million, it means one, not two, one. So if it means whatever it is, if you can listen to and follow where God has called you. See, everybody not called to be a millionaire. You can say everybody ain't called to be a millionaire. Some people are not even called to be a hundred thousandaire. You know, one, one man told me, he said, look, and he, he was, you know, pretty well. He said, look, he said, he said right now, $500 will ease a whole lot of pain. For some of you, if you got $1,000 in the bank free and clear, it, 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 it ease a whole lot of pain. For a whole lot of it. It's $1,000 will ease a whole lot of pain. You may not be called to be a millionaire. But you do need to know where and what name God has called you. And, and I can't tell you that. Now, now, I was able to tell my son because God spoke it to me and he, it's been confirmed through him three different times. But one of the things is the first thing when I told him, basically everything I told him was just like me. But he's got my same name. I'm Nathaniel Hawthorne Bronner Jr., and he's Nathaniel Hawthorne Bronner the third. And we were even at a prophetic meeting yesterday and when the lady spoke over him, it was a similar thing to what I had told him, just more in detail than what he was gonna do ministerial wise. But you've got to know what, and see everybody's not called to be a public minister. You ain't called to be. You, you're not, not called. Everybody's not called to be a, a public minister. You got to know what you are called to be. And oftentimes we and I, brother Marcus, I, I wish I had that kind of voice. I just do. Man, I, I ain't got it. And sometimes we don't realize we ain't got it, and we're trying to be something God never called us to be or to do. And when you're out of your calling you're gonna be out of the results. You're out of the will. And as a result, you'll never get fulfilled because there's something missing and you can feel it. Hallelujah. Brothers of the word, when the voice of God is heard, brothers of the word, there's a word from God for everyone. Brothers of the word, because brother, you need the word. Brothers of the word. Brothers of the word.